Hey guys, welcome to part 4 of my DVD Blu-ray collection. Today we're continuing on with the Blu-rays, starting with Coraline. Um, this is a, a really good animated film. It's from the director of The Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, has some great voice acting in it uh, from Dakota Fanning, Terry Hatcher, uh, and uh, among others. Uh, but uh, this version I have um, has the Blu-ray, DVD, and a digital copy. But it also includes the 3D version, has a uh, you know 3D glasses in it as well. So um, this is a really good value picked up. Um, but you know the movie is just really good overall. It's definitely not for uh, younger kids because it, it, it is quite dark in places. But um, I, I think it, it, it's a, a good movie for um, young girls to identify with. Um, I'd say maybe over the age of, of, of eight, maybe a little bit older, uh, but it's just a, a really good film. I, I, I quite enjoyed it. Next we have a phenomenal film. It is The Dark Knight. This is uh, written by Christopher Nolan and David S. Goyer, uh, but it's just a, a great film. You have some great performances in it from uh, Christian Bale, Michael Caine. Uh, Heath Ledger does a phenomenal job as a Joker. He like really loses himself in the character. It it was one of his uh, final roles. Uh, also, we have Gary Oldman does a great job as Gordon. Aaron Eckhart as Harvey Dent. Uh, Maggie Gyllenhaal and Morgan Freeman. Uh, this really has some great special features on it as well. You know, the, the movie it is written more like a crime drama, but I think it's that's more to its credit. It, it makes the story much more believable, and, and to have Batman caught up in it, it, it just makes the movie uh, much better. So this is a, a definite must for your Blu-ray collection. Great picture quality on it as well. Now we're up to District 9. Uh, I believe this movie actually originally started out as uh, Halo, when Peter Jackson was was trying to develop it. So most of the weapons in it, I think, were um, actually ones designed for the Halo movie. But um, this is a, a wonderful uh, sci-fi film. This is... It, it's where um, aliens actually come to Earth, uh, but not to invade. They're, they've been on the ship for years and years, and they're, like, malnourished, um, and, and they're all really sickly. Um, and so w we... You know, bring them down to Earth and and pretty much lock them up in these in these slums, and um, it, and it, the main character in this goes through a, a really crazy journey in it, um, but I, I don't really want to say much about it. I don't want to give any of the plot away. But some great special features on it. You've got quite a few uh, Blu-ray exclusives on this, so definitely pick this up on Blu-ray. Plus, you do get a uh, a demo of God of War Three. I know that's already out, but if you haven't played it. Um, this is a good one to pick up. Now, this next one I have already talked about in my Doctor Who collection, but um, I'll go ahead and, and talk about it for my Blu-rays. Uh, but this is Doctor Who: The Complete Specials. These complete specials were on uh, over a period of last year, but um, this consists of uh, five specials um, spread across five discs. Uh, you have the next Doctor, Planet of the Dead. The Waters of Mars, The End of Time Part 1, and The End of Time Part 2. Now these are all in 1080i high definition, um, but not 1080p, which I, I, I'm not exactly sure why. Um, you do have The Next Doctor, which technically wasn't filmed in high def, uh, so it was upconverted, which it really doesn't look as good. You, you definitely see some, um, some pixelation issues in it, uh, but it does have some nice special features. You get a couple of audio commentaries and some featurettes. So this is a, a really cool pickup to have. And now we're moving on to Joss Whedon's Dollhouse. This is the complete first season. Uh, the second season is uh, coming out on Blu-ray soon, I believe. In the next month, I think. Next couple months. Uh, but this is a really cool show about um, what would happen if the technology to, um, to pretty much er program people's minds existed. And uh, this uh, show involves a an organization that actually does that, and uh, you know, very rich people hire uh, hire these. Uh, they, they call them dolls, 
out uh, to be whoever they want them to be. Um, very uh, well, incredibly well written. Um, also, this uh, Blu-ray set does have some some nice special features on it. You have the original unaired pilot as well as uh, another episode that was never aired, uh, an epilogue episode. So this is a, a great great pickup, and the picture quality is pretty decent on it. Now uh, we're up to Donnie Darko. This stars Jake Gyllenhaal, and uh, it's kind of a, a psychological movie. This is actually the director's cut. Um, I haven't seen this, so I, I, I mean, I, I've seen the movie, I just haven't seen it on Blu-ray, uh, so I, I can't really comment on the picture quality. I haven't seen the director's cut, so I, but um, th this is a, a two-disc um, set. And, uh, I mean, the movie is just really good. The acting's great in it, and the story is really unique. So th this is a, a definite, definite pickup. And now we're coming on to my Bond movies. Um, first up is Dr. No with Sean Connery. Uh, while this isn't the best Bond movie, this is the first one, and it did a great job of introducing the character. And um, the picture quality, uh, I believe it's done by a, a company called Lowry Digital. Um, but they do a phenomenal job on this, restoring these movies. Uh, this movie looks so good. It looks like it was filmed yesterday. The picture quality is so good, so bright and vivid. So, um, you know, it just looks wonderful. And um, unfortunately, I, I don't think we're going to be getting um, any more classic Bond movies on Blu-ray, at, at least not anytime soon. Um, since MGM is having uh, financial troubles, but you know, this has, uh, I believe, all the special features that were on the um, the uh, Ultimate Editions. So uh, you know, you get them in high def and all the special features. So you know, really great pickup. You can actually get these uh, classic Bond movies pretty cheap now. I think for maybe like ten, twelve dollars each. Next up is one of my favorite Bond movies. Um, it is from Russia with Love. Um, just everything worked really well about this movie, um, and I think this, this has one of the best films in it, um, played by uh, Robert Shaw. Just a really good movie. And next we have uh, Thunderball. Uh, some really great underwater action sequences in this, and as always, uh, the picture quality is great. Now we are moving on to another, this is a, a really cool um, movie. It, it's kind of like a, a sci-fi horror movie, but it's Event Horizon, starring Lawrence Fishburne and Sam Neill. And pretty much the plot in this uh, follows this ship that has been, it's an experimental ship that has this drive in it that was supposed to kind of like, uh, I think it was, it was supposed to like fold uh, space-time so they can travel immense distances in only a few seconds, um, but uh, 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 they went into another dimension and found something really crazy, then they brought something back, and I probably gave too much of the plot away there, but it's it's a really creepy movie, and, and just really, really good. Sam Neill does a really cr good job at being creepy in this movie. Um, next up, we have The Fifth Element, starring Bruce Willis, Gary Oldman, Ian Holm, and Mila Jovovich. Um, not a lot of special features in this, you just get a feature-length trivia fact track. But um, I believe this is actually a re-release. Um, they originally came out with one, I believe, back in 2006, but the picture quality was just really bad on it from what I've heard. Um, but I can say the picture quality on this is fantastic. Uh, so definitely a really, really good movie. All right, guys. Well, that's it for part four of my DVD Blu-ray collection. Tune in next time for part five, where I'll continue with my Blu-rays. All right, guys. Till next time.